Hey guys, welcome to part six. In this tutorial, uh, we're going to focus on this end, this side of the um, Ford Mustang. Let me bring up the picture here. So, <clears throat> uh, what we're going to do in this tutorial is going to be uh, this side here, and then uh, this upper portion, the upper surface area this is just a small piece here that goes from uh, this corner uh, down to this corner and what we're going to do is we're going to grab this reference point here and uh, create a scaffold uh, over here to uh, put a, a 3d sketch uh, down to this point and then we're going to manipulate those uh, splines to set them in uh, to be in this position right so uh, once we have that, uh, we're not going to do the inside. Uh, probably we will, but I'm not sure. Uh, but we will do this uh, end. We will not do the lower section. But once we uh, do this side here and then the front bit, then that will give us uh, some good reference po reference points to start uh, our the rest of the vehicle here, which is the headlight and then this body part here because once you have this that will gives us a good place to to uh, drop our another uh, scaffolding here where we can uh, add another 3d spline here and then uh, just throw it onto the surface body here and then we can create these bodies as well <clears throat> okay so uh, let's get to this one here and uh, well, first thing i'm going to do i'm going to go to front plane i'm going to make a sketch on the front plane i'm going to snow motor profile on that one and i'm going to drop in a point i'm going to drop that point so this body's edge come up to here right i'm going to just going to drop it in this corner here all right i'm just going to leave that and then I'm going to exit this sketch because it's just a 2D sketch and I'm going to jump back in here and grab a 3D sketch and that's going to be our construction line, center line and I want to make sure that I'm on the Y and Z axis so if I get on that point, right, I want to make sure that I'm on the Y and Z axis so I'm going to press tab on the keyboard and it draws me on the Y and Z axis, right? So I'm going to bring it all the way out to here. It doesn't really matter. All right. And once I have that, I'm just going to jump on the top here. And I'm going to draw up a point, a 3D point, uh, right about right about here into this corner okay and then we can also we can always move this um this point about where whichever way we want to all right so once we have that once we have that I'm going to jump into my picture here. And I'm going to have a look. So my aim is that first I'm going to I'm going to make um first I'm going to make the inner inner edge so this two edge here right for this surface here this front surface here first I'm going to make the inner edge line right and once I have that I'm going to make the other edge right so if you can see here this surface is touching it's not touching onto the body but we will touch onto that we will drop our 3d point onto the surface and then we can always trim the back if you want to, if you don't want this to touch the surface, but in our case, it will touch the surface. So um, the first point, I'm going to drop the first point um, somewhere up here 
And then uh, the second point, when we get to it, I'm going to drop it a further back and a lower one, um, a bit lower. So let me tell you what I mean by that. So if I grab my 3D point, right? So the first one, I'm going to drop it somewhere around here, right? On that corner and bring up the picture. Move it, move it back a little bit. All right, so that's about right. Read that one. Okay. And uh, the second one, it's gonna fall a bit further back and the lower area. All right, somewhere about there. But we can always uh, change the position of the second one. All right, so let's get a, let's exit this sketch and let's get a separate 3D sketch. But before I do that, I'm gonna add a glass appearance on the whole thing, All right? So just simply do that instead of changing the changing the uh, appearance into instead of changing it to um, transparent because once you do that you know have to hold control to be able to click on it and take it off but this way you just jump to the future changes to, you know um, remove the appearance right so um, right so if I go to through the sketch and I grab my spline. I can add that spline to the point which we created and then click it on to this point here. All right. Okay. Let me take off the parents first. Remove parents. All right. 3D sketch, 3D spline. Let's try now. Yeah, see. You can put the appearance after. So let's build the first line, the, the, the upper upper edge first. Exit the sketch. And then I can put the appearance back on. Okay. And then if I hold space bar, all right. So what we're aiming for is this line here. Right, so it's 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 falling. This edge is right about here, right? So this is one corner. This is the second corner, right? So what we want is add is insert a spline point. We want to make sure that it's not a 3D point, but a spline point, a 3D spline point. And again, um. The less you add, the better. Always. Going to add one, two, three, four, five. Right, so I added five on this one, and uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to deform this sketch a little bit. And I'm going to add my control polygons. Okay, all right. I have to come back on this line. Edit sketch. And then let's remove this control polygon and then remove those uh, points that I added on. And let's try and insert those blank points now.
Okay. All right, that's a lot better. And now let's add back on our add back our control polygons on there. And of course now we can um now we can pull this line into position. So the first line I'm going after this one here. All right. And again, the less points you have, basically the better. So it's the upper it's the upper line. Again, this picture is not very clear. Um, apologies for that. That's why we can't really get that precise on it. But we will try our best, of course. And this one here, okay. And then we just uh, move over to this side here. And again, we can see that line already there. If we just follow, follow this surface. All the way to right just like that I right, pull this up here and um, we can pull this up here just to make a make a little bit of corner up there oh yeah let's go back on my spline points Okay, and then uh, let's uh, fix it from the top. And again, from the top, we just uh, want to be, and we want to have a real nice, and we want to have a very nice curvature here. All right. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna actually just gonna double check everything here. Check everything from the side. Check from this side, spinning around. All right, so check it from this side, and it looks good now. I'm gonna check it from the front. And just pull this back down here a little bit okay and because we pulled that now we need to double check again from the side looks good from the side and then again from the front looks good from the front and let's have a look at from the top Okay, let's have a look at from this side. It looks good from here. It looks good from here. Okay, so at this point, I'm gonna jump over to your display states and I'm gonna jump over my second display state. And here I can adjust things a little bit even better. Okay, so we do have that little corner over there, but we can bring this up here just a little bit and then this one looks good here just have a look at from the front and um maybe just a little bit here All right okay that looks good from the front let's have a look at from the top but you already know me i like to work from left to right okay just a little bit here we add back our curvature on this one okay and then from here 
All right, and then now I want to jump back again to my first display state and just double check everything. So if you do any critical movements in, in, in any, any direction, it's good to double check always because you want to stay close to the design surface, design idea as much as possible. Um, I would say it looks good to me. I think we are on surface. I'm from the top here. I'm pretty sure we are on surface. That's good. All right. Yeah, I think that looks good. Let's just have a look from the front. Yeah, we're not going into the headlight at all. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so let's jump over to our second display state here. And now we can see already, now we can see already where we need to add our second point. <clears throat> okay, so let's exit the sketch here and let's get a brand new 3D sketch, which is going to be a 3D spline. And we just drop gonna drop it anywhere on this line and then anywhere on this point anywhere on that point is just that's the only place you can add that okay so again we're going to insert our spline points one two three f4 should be right and I'm going to deform this spline point a little bit, go back on it, add my control polygon on. All right, so now I can manipulate this line, the second line. So basically, I want to be nice and close. I want to be nice and close with, with the first one. Maybe we keep this spline here and we bring this down over here. So it gives us a little bit more control. And then we can pull this down down here. So much closer. And of course we can always add more spline points if we need to. And then this instant, I see already a bit. I need another one here. Let's jump back into that. Let's take off that. And that one there. Click back on it and add back our control polygon. Alright, so now we have that extra spline point here. So basically, here I want to be nice and close, starting from this point. I want to be almost identical. Okay, so that looks from this side. Now we're going to adjust it from the front. I know it takes a lot guys it's really it takes a lot but that's what it is you know i mean it takes time to get the surface done but like i said this this for this first couple of surfaces in the front here is um it's, it's really it's going to give us a lot of good reference points so Basically, the, the closer we get, the better it is, right? Again, I think 
because maybe we can move a bit closer here but then again in the front we have we have this we have that face just like in a picture so if we jump into the picture here you can see that we have that face from the front right so we're gonna keep that so let's have a look again from this side and then uh, And from the side, actually, it's actually it's almost level. Okay, let's jump back in the front. Right. So it's a back and forth kind of game. See which side is going to give us that tolerances that we need so as i said it's it's almost level from the side Okay, let's have a look from the top. Maybe if we can pick some the from the from the top, maybe it makes it makes it a lot easier for us. So again, from the top, we're gonna go relatively closer. And again, we can always come back and adjust it if we need to. All right. All right, let me go back to the top because as the way I see it from the top, we have to have the space. All right, I'm gonna delete this line here because it's it's all messy. All right, I'm gonna delete that one. And uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring that forward. Okay, and I'm going to grab my uh, 3D spline and just drop it down onto here again. And I'm going to add the spline points. This time I'm not going to add too much. Let's deform that line a little bit. Okay, let's start from the front. Yeah, it's a lot better now. Okay, I'm much happier.
Oh, that looks a lot better. And now we just have to fix it up over here a little bit and pull this a bit closer. We don't need that much in the over here, just a little bit. Okay, this looks a lot prom a lot more promising. Just pull it down to here and just fix it up from the side. And like I said, from the side we are almost level. But it's exactly what I was looking for. It's this type of curvature. A lot better. Oh yeah, let's look at it from the top. And yeah, I'm just gonna pull this in. So it doesn't stick out to the front too much. Okay, and let's have a look from the side. And then from the front. Just add back this surface from the front, and then again we're gonna have a look at from the side. I like that looks a lot better from the side, and we're gonna have a look at again from the top. It looks almost good from the top. However, it's sticking out. I'm just going to have to pull this in that way, that direction. Yeah, let's fix it up again from the side. From the front. Look okay from the front, and um, yeah, we're gonna leave it here in the side like that, and then let's have a look from the top. Okay, you just need to pull this out here. All right, that looks a lot better. Let's just double check again from the side. I'm happy with that. All right, looks good from the front front as well. Okay, cool. Uh, let's jump into um, the front here. And I'm going to exit this sketch. And I'm going to add the surface. Again, yours might come out a lot better than mine. So it usually does. Yeah, it changes, you know. So first look on that. Of course, this surface is not very good. It caused some problems there, but we can fix that. The main purpose is that we created this surface here, but we will fix that in the next tutorial. I think I know what caused that. But um, yeah. So that looks good. So the first, uh, the next thing I want to do here is I want to add a line from here to here. I'll show you why. So if you, as you can see, as you can see, this uh, front part here is don't doesn't really come all the way down, right? It comes down to about this this far. Never mind, never mind. Uh, it's just a shadow. It does come down all the way. So 
what I want to do is I want to go in here and grab another 3D sketch and that's going to be a 3D spline and I want to drop it from this corner all the way out to this point right I'm just going to jump in the top here and I'm going to add that curve the profile Okay, and then what I want to try here is exit the sketch. Uh, what I want to try here is go to surfaces and add a boundary surface from this side to this side. Of course, you want to pull that back over here, and we want to flip the connector, flip connector, yeah, and I'm just gonna bring the point back until the black dot shows that's it and if I go to direction 2 I can click on this line to give us the shape but then again um, it give a shape there as well and I don't know how big that the, the shape is so we're just gonna have a look and if you're not happy with that curve here then we're just gonna add some lines over there some control lines Right, so it looks good on the bottom, exactly what I had in mind, but in the top is not. So then we have to add a straight line over here. So we're going to add delete this face. I'm going to jump in here. I'm going to grab a 3D sketch, 3D spline, and I'm going to go from this corner just done to this edge all right and I'm gonna jump back into the first display state and click on this front plane and no more to profile and I can pull this all the way until it's straight with that surface on the picture okay exit this sketch and I'm gonna jump back into my um, into my second display state and I will add that line I a small profile of course because it's completely straight but not too much about that much okay All right, so now when we now when we go to surfaces and go to boundary surface, select this edge and this edge, pull this point back. So we have to flip the connectors here by hovering over this pink one. Flip the connectors, and again we're gonna pull this point back until that turns into black. The register that they connected to that one. And we're gonna pull this back until we see the black on this side as well. Okay, and then for direction two, we're gonna choose this line and this line. All right, press OK. Okay, it's a lot better now. So uh, that looks good there. However, maybe we can add another control line somewhere down here, but we have a look on that surface later on. But for, for now, I'm going to leave it as is. And then uh, we already have a good uh, reference points and bodies to start uh, creating our other geometries here. All right, thanks very much for staying with me in this tutorial. And I'll see you back in the next one.